Now that we've seen the light, we've got to record it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Design Talk, I want to talk about this bracket that I designed. I want to talk a little bit about the design principles that went into it and some of the functionalities and give you guys some tips that you can use to create something like this and save plastic too. So one of the pieces that I needed to do with this ring light is to be able to put it on my lightweight grip gear slider. And to do that, I needed to use an action camera in the center. My typical bigger Canon rig was just plainly too heavy. So I needed to design a way, much like in the last episode, uh, to mount this light to the camera. Now, this is a little bit of inverse from the prior episode where I was mounting the light to the camera system. I am actually here mounting the camera to the light system. Now, this bottom piece here will attach to my slider, and this will provide the light and obviously the camera record. Uh, now to do this, what I needed, wanted to do, I should say, is drop the camera down a little bit, keep it somewhat centered to the frame. Uh, I will have different cameras and having it a little bit off centered is okay from the lens perspective where it is still centered here. Now to attach it, what I simply did was in Fusion modeled the ring light and subtracted that out from the main body itself. And I left about five millimeters on the back, which is plenty. And then I used these nylon uh, quarter 20s, which I really love, are super handy. I modeled the threads that went inside of here to cinch these. And so, again, you just use these two guys, cinch it down, and Bob's your uncle, and it stays pretty much put. There's not a lot of weight here. And then I have a center hole here to mount the camera, again, using another nylon bolt to do that. Uh, one of the things I probably will add is some ex extra holes down here. I just did, in this model, one centered hole. I will probably do three holes so I can kind of move it back and forth and so I can actually move this lens to the dead center if I want to. Um, because one of the things that a lot of people use these for is for close-ups, and close-ups aren't the best for, for action cameras, but what happens is in, in your eye, when it, the, the camera photographs your eye with these ring lights, you get a really neat effect, and so that's why maybe I might want to move it over. I really don't do you know much face. I'm just pretty much talking hands and you don't get the ring light effect. Anyways, uh, the other piece that I did here that I thought was really cool, and this was the first time for me, is I used the offset command to indent this. So one of the pieces, I needed the lateral strength, but I did not need the whole piece to be uh, you know, totally filled with plastic. It just made no sense. So I recessed it down about five millimeters, um, and then I did 100% infill on this piece and it made it super strong and so I was able to go with a light infill uh, but yet go super strong now on the on the sorry five millimeters on the back what I did is I went with a 1.2 millimeter um, surface both top and bottom so that worked out to be 2.4 so basically almost half of that solid so it's super super rigid and also the orientation in which I printed it I printed it sideways so I got a really good uh, layer run if you will so it's it's super stable so anyways really happy with this and, and again uh, again reuse of the nylon nuts the offsets really makes it handy and again as I've harped on in a couple other episodes distance from design to part is crazy fast it took me maybe 15 minutes to design this you know probably two two and a half hours to print it you know it's in pet g so i ran it a little bit slower uh you could do this one in pla there's no, no reason you you couldn't use pla it's just i really happen to like pet g so anyways, hopefully you got some inspiration out of this because, again, that's what these Design Talk episodes are really about is inspiring you guys to give you a few tips and tricks like using the reset, the nylon nuts, the modeling of the threads. Uh, also, take a look at what your problem is. Again, I needed to get a camera in the center of this. It was going to be an action camera. How did I go about it? Again, some of the design thinking that goes into creating this because the piece is I want to enable you guys to go out there and create a business where you're creating parts design ideas and selling them you're not just running to thing averse and printing something uh, you know I think it's very much like the adage you know you feed you know feed a man a fish you feed him for a day you teach him to fish you feed him for a lifetime my goal in the design talk series is to number one 
number one man that's a thumbs up i guess i'll go here number one inspire you you know inspiration i love watching things on youtube like this to become inspired because it gets the creative juices going it gets me thinking about hey what can i go off and do in design the second piece is pick up some tips you know how do i go about this what are some of the tips of doing this i'm not here to teach you how to use uh, fusion 360 lars christensen does a far better job than i and there's a, just a ton of resources out there but what i am going to share with you is some of the design ideas that i take into fusion and use in fusion to become successful and again fusion's not the only package you know if you're not sold on fusion you know i, I love open SCAD. i work in a number of different packages but the idea is is right Right now in my book fusion's got the most bang for the buck out there with feature sets ease of use and everything else so hopefully you found this video interesting if you did hey give it a big thumbs up don't forget the bell buttons coming up over there which means hey go down there hit it so you're notified when I put out new content what you're not a subscriber it's time you subscribed hey pony up to the bar hit that subscribe button i put out regular content I have tons of playlists be sure to check them all out i cover cnc laser cutting you name it 3d printing of course and uh, hey swag shop's going to be up in the corner and we'll see you guys in the next video where we design something else cool cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel